Okay, so let's look at question number nine. <clears throat> so we have a little bit more of a complicated diagram here. We have um, several line segments um, that intersect. We have a triangle that is formed, it looks like, and then we have some other line segments here. So let's just start by looking at what's given. Okay, so we have two statements. Uh, segment AB, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna mark that in here, is parallel to CD. So the way I can do that is I can just put a little uh, arrowhead on each of the lines, okay, that are par indicating that one arrowhead is on each one, and that means they're parallel. So I will do AB parallel to CD, okay, and the reason is given, so we don't have to, you don't have to supply anything, that's the starting assumption. And then we also are told that angle one is equal to angle two, okay, so we'll start with that again. And when we can mark those in, so the way I mark it in is I put an arc in and just put in a single slash to signify that those two angles correspond to each other. So then what else um, would we be able to deduce here? Okay, so if we, we do have here two parallel lines, two lines that are parallel, and then we have a line that cuts across them. So there's several properties here that um, we could uh, figure out. So let's take a look here. I'm just gonna draw this one in green just so we know what we're talking about. Right now I'm gonna be looking at this line here, okay, because I know it cuts across the two parallel lines. Okay, so <clears throat> we know from our study before that if we can have an angle here and an angle here, what are called alternate interior angles, and those are equal. So if we look at angle two um, in our diagram, that is alternate interior to angle three. Okay, so that is a valid statement to try to write down here. So let's do here angle two is equal to angle three, and the property for that is alternate interior. Okay, so we just wanna keep going here until we can prove, remember we're, our goal is to prove that um, oh, line segment AC is equal to line segment AB. Um, so it looks like we're, we're proving that the length of those are the same. Okay, so we'll have to keep that in mind as, as, as what we're going here for. So then what else do we see here once we say angle 2 is equal to angle 3? Well, <clears throat> um, what we can look at here is, again, we can do the same trick that we saw previous in the previous questions. If angle one equals angle two and angle two equals angle three, we can right away say, okay, as a fourth step, that angle one is equal to angle three. All right, and we can just say that is also by substitution. Okay, because we're just substituting the, out the, the two angles. So that lets us mark that in. So angle one and angle three are, are now marked as being the same. Okay, so if we think about this now, we actually have a triangle here where the two base angles are the same. Okay, so there's a, this is the you know, mark it here in green. But because the two base angles are the same, that is the definition of an isosceles triangle. So I'm just going to put two little slashes in for this right here. Okay, so that means line segment AC and line segment AB okay, must be the same. So our final statement that we can say, which is our concluding statement that we want to prove, AC is equal to AB because this is an isosceles triangle, okay, and then you can just put in here the base angles equal, okay, which is by definition what isosceles mean. So that's the four or five steps that we can go starting from the given statements all the way down to sequentially proving that segment AC is the same length as segment AB. All right, so they would, essentially what you're doing, I'll just put the two dots in here, right? We're making sure AC is equal to the same as AB. Okay, so that's how you want to walk through a question like this. Again, they don't give you the hints to start with, so start with the given ones, put those down, mark them in on the diagram, and then um, 
start looking for things that you can say, identify as substitution or other patterns, okay, that are, um, are equal. Now you could actually add more steps here if you wanted. Um, you could say angle three is equal to angle four. It doesn't really help us prove that the segment is there because we really have to prove the triangle. Um, Okay, there's, there's other ones you could say here, angle one is equal to angle, um, this looks like the, the side here for angle A, but again, we, we don't really have to mark any of those down because they're not, they're not really part of the question, but there, there are other statements that are also true in this diagram, but these are the key ones that take us uh, forward through that.